morning, we're taking an inside look at a program that trains officers how to detect drugs with lasers. It's a pilot program at the Global Forensic and Justice Center in Largo, and they've already trained local agencies in the Bay Area. ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick is joining us live in studio this morning. Keely, I know you got a firsthand look at how this all works. What can you tell us? Larissa, I did, and good morning. The project manager is calling this a game changer when it comes to getting drugs off the street. Officers can use a laser to detect and identify illegal drugs from up to six feet away. I actually got to gear up and test it out. Okay, so go ahead and pick up the device. Kirk Grates is the project manager at the Global Forensic and Justice Center. He walked me through how exactly the device works. So I just move into the, the actual sample, find that focal point, pull all the way through. This laser is called the Pendar X10 and it's used to detect illegal drugs. It actually gives them intelligence right there on the scene. They can say, yes, it's methamphetamine containing even fentanyl or no, hey, it's just sugar. An officer can use this laser to detect drugs up to six feet away. They point the laser at the substance and within seconds it populates what kind of drug it is on the screen. And cocaine hydrochloride. And if you look, cocaine hydrochloride wow. that fast. This adds an extra layer of safety for officers and speeds up the process of identifying dangerous drugs. Just getting those drugs off the street. That's, it's just that's number one priority. He says this is a game changer. They offer an online training course and also have loaner equipment they lend out to agencies. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department is one of the local agencies that went through the training. Well, this technology helps us because it gives us the ability to scan and identify thousands of substances that we otherwise wouldn't know our present. The laser can identify 7,400 different chemical compounds, and the officer is able to scan the drug from a distance, adding an extra layer of protection and speeding up the process of finding illegal drugs. To get them and the individuals selling them off the street to help prevent any kind of overdoses or deaths. And the project manager tells me he thinks this will save lives in the long run, and they have several other local agencies who are signed up for that training. You can read more about this on our website. That's all at abcactionnews.com. Reporting live in the studio, Keely